What's up guys, this is iMad Reactions, and today I'm bringing you another tutorial, and today it's a requested tutorial, as you can see here, by Zed Paddy. Um, he said, how do you make text reform, and I said, should I make a tutorial, so um, he said yes. And just for those of you who haven't seen this, um, this is what we're going to be making today. So it's basically here, as you can see, when the text, when it, um, when the text, it all comes together like that as you can see and then yeah so that's what we're going to be making today and f um, what you're going to need for this you gonna need Cinema 4D and you're going to need a plugin called Throusy. Um if you don't have it it's, it's free uh, there'll be a link in the description how to download it I mean where to download it from <coughs> yeah and once you've installed that you can get started so you want to open up Cinema 4D first thing we want to do change our project settings that, so control B then go to output 1280 by 720 and then um, press X and then we want to just um, change our angle here so it's okay like that so you want to get this you want to get this middle line here so it's straight not jagged and then we just move this up a bit then we're gonna well, what we'll do is to make sure we get stuck at this view we hold this down and then select camera and then we'll click this little box here so it's active then right click Cinema 4D tags <coughs> and protection. What that will mean is we can't move our angle or anything. Um, so yeah, so we don't have to worry. But um, for tutorial purposes, um, I'll just get rid of this in case I want to change it a few times. Yeah. Um, so what you want to do is you want to insert your text first. So mo graph, mo text, and change the alignment to middle, and change the depth to about 100. That's what I usually use, and then we'll just change the font. To, um, just type in whatever your text is on for. Just search quick. I'll type in t tut for tutorial. I don't need to burp. Sorry. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Sorry about that. And then we'll just change the font. Um, the font I'm going to be using today is um, same font I use there. So it's called Planet Cosmos. Um, I'll probably put a link in the description to that as well if you haven't got it. So we've got that, and then you can add a cap, fill it cap, fill it cap, or fill a cap. I'm not really bothered. So now we've got our text here, and what you want to do is we want to apply our materials. So as you can see here, the inside bit is white, and the outside is red. So you want to make um, two materials. So just double click there in the material section, and you'll see now that we have two materials loaded. Oh, seen more forties for instance. Yeah, so we have two materials now. So um, we'll make one. This is going to be our inside color. Um, I'll put my inside color as white. You can do that as whatever color you want. And then change your reflect tick reflection. Change so texture to for now. And then put the uh, um, brightness and mix strength down. So they're about the same. It's so about I'll put it down to about 24, and 27. Oh my gosh, no, I'll probably put that back up to 100, just so we can maximize the reflections we have. So that's the inside color, and you, then you want to make an outside color. So for my outside color, I'll probably just choose like a blue. I'll choose a blue reflection texture for now. Now you can see we have our two materials. So now, um, what you want to do is the inside material. So on this one, it's the white. You want to apply that one first to your text. Apply that. So now you can see it's white. And then apply the outside color, the main one. So in my case, it's blue. Again, don't worry about like the way it is, it's because it's all blue. It's just the way it is. So now what you want to do is you want to have your text clicked on. So make sure it's selected. And then go to plugins, throw seat, throw seat. And then here you can control everything. But basically, all you want to worry about is just pieces. So um, what this is gonna do is gonna decide how many pieces there are in each letter. Oh, need to up again. Sorry about that. I said chips earlier. Anyway, um, so this will decide how many pieces each letter has. So I'm just probably gonna do about five. That's okay. Plus, it um, more um, the bigger the number is here, the longer it's gonna take. So I recommend you do a small number unless you have a fast computer. So once you entered your number, um, I just did five. Press break now, and then um, you'll see on your screen that um, all the multiple pieces are being made within the text and um, just let that finish 
and I can see now if we just close this that you have um, T U T. But now if we render it out just quickly, you can see that you got all these jagged edges. So to fix that, you just wanna drop each one down. As you can see there's gonna be five because we made five pieces, and then just click and hold so you get the selection tool and drag over um, just so that where the two dots are on all of them. And then you see that you'll come up with a fong tag. And then what you want to do is change the fong angle to zero. And now if we render it again, you see jagged edges are all gone. That is nice and smooth. So now what you want to do is um, just drop them all back up. We'll just change this um, from 90 to about 300. That's 10 seconds because 30 frames is one second. And if we play it through, you can see that it breaks and that the inside color is the white which we originally made earlier. So um, we don't want it to break straight. We we want it to transform first. So what you want to do is um, hold Control and click on each of these rigid body tags, and then uncheck Enabled. So that means now if we play it through, it's okay. So now now we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to, how we get this transforming effect, how it actually like transforms. And you click on each letter, then go to MoGraph Effector random but then um make sure that um this is selected I've kind of screwed that up there so make sure it's selected MoGraph effect uh, random and then I probably screwed this up drag yeah so now it should be okay hopefully nope you have to drag it into a fracture object I was I was right um, oh no wait, you tick this, yeah, M no, yeah that's what you have to do, you have to make sure that this is ticked for the effectors to work, so Mogra, effector, random, now, there we go, so you want to uncheck position, and then just check rotation, because that's what, uh, all I used in that intro, so just type in some random numbers, I don't know, we'll go for 20, 90, 240, that seems about okay, and then we want to press this button here, it's the automatic keyframe button, just check that. And then um, just press enter on each one. And then, now if we go forward about to 100 frames, and, <coughs> sorry, voice crack, and change that all to, change all these to zero, you can see now if we play it through, we've already got the sort of transform effect on the T already. So we'll do the same thing again for the U. We'll go mole graph, effector, random, uncheck position, and then just rotation. So we'll go 120, uh, 10, and 300. And same again. We'll just go to 100 frames and change them all to zero. So zero, zero, zero. And then we'll do the same thing again to the T, effector random uncheck position check rotation make sure you, you're at the first frame and then check rotation <coughs> and here we'll just go 40 90 360 and then we'll go to the hundredth frame and change these to zero 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 and now if we play it through you can see now that we've got that sort of transformer effect now that they're all turning and there we go now um, as you can see here I've got some nice reflections going on in here if we render this out we haven't really got anything so um, what you want to do is you want to add a sky and then um, we'll add a HDR, HDRI image so I'll just find that and I'll put a link in the description to this HDRI because um, you guys probably don't have it uh, here we go just drag that in Cinema 4D, like so, and press no. Now if we just drag this onto the sky, you see it that um, you get this little image in the background, don't worry about that. It's okay, and then if we render it now, you can see we have a few nice reflections here on the top. If we go uh, about here, yeah, you can see now that we've got the reflection from the HDRI Studio. So we want to break now, um, so what we do is we go to about... Um, 140 frames and then what you want to do is 
You want to drag over these rigid body tags again. Go back one frame to 139. Hold, con um, hold control and press the little dot next to enabled so it goes red. To go forward one frame. And then check the box and then check it again so it goes red. So now, if we play it through, this is what our animation looks like. Now you can see that the letters all four. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, that's the tutorial done. Um, if you want the tutorial on the After Effects part, um, just comment and I'll do that. And um, yeah, leave a like because it helps. And yeah, peace.